Good morning. Happy Friday to everybody out there. I know everyone's getting a cold snap here. Um, so I think spring is drunk. It can't make up its mind, but hopefully this is the last of the bit. So just want to, this is not really a mortgage tip. This is just kind of something in general. Uh, and, and a big day is, is coming up here. Uh, tomorrow for me, it's, it's actually gonna be my 50th birthday, which is insane to me. Uh, it doesn't feel that way. Um, but you know, one of the things that stuck with me from my father growing up was, you know, always, uh, you know, nothing comes easy. Okay. There's no substitute for hard work. He used to drill that into my head every day, whether it was sports, school, business, anything else, you know, nothing comes easy. I mean, and there's no substitute for, for hard work. And you know, what we're seeing now in society, it seems like everybody's blaming this person, blaming that, whining about this, whining about that, and just endless amount of complaining, instead of just getting and just, you know, just working hard and, and getting through tough things. I mean, it's going to happen. I mean, we had a major financial crash, you know, over 10 years ago, it was a disaster. We lost pretty much everything. And it was horrible. Now, I put that in perspective compared to what people are going through around the world and, and so forth. So it is, you know, everything is kind of relative when it comes to that. But the main thing I heard, you know, all the time is that there's no substitute for hard work. I mean, I remember playing youth hockey and starting out with that. I was smaller than most people. And I always played a couple of age, you know, age group higher than me and, and so forth. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, if you can look yourself in a mirror and, and you work your tail off, Okay, and and basically really realize, hey, I gave her my all. That's all. That's all you can do, you know. So I think during the times that we're in right now, um, I'm kind of just scratching my head all the time. It's getting worse because I'm losing my hair, but that's part of it. But the other reason is that people just don't get it. They don't understand that life is going to be tough, and as you get older, okay, it's going to get tougher. So we all think it's tough now, but wait till you get you know, older and, and become 18 years old and then 30 years old and you're in a workforce and you got people backstabbing you and you got business going this way and, and up and down and all this other stuff, life changes, people uh, hurt you, all this other stuff, okay? But you just have to keep moving forward, okay? And if you don't go through that stuff and we coddle everybody, then people are going to be so-called adults but acting like children. And that's kind of what we have now from what I've seen. So, uh, from, you know, not everybody, obviously, there's a lot of great people working their tails off and doing everything. I mean, it's awesome. Uh, but it seems like it's more and more now. And I, I know the media likes to, you know, portray the horrible stuff, but, but that's the one thing I've learned from my dad. There's no substitute for hard work. No matter how talented somebody is, he could be outworked. Okay. And, and you can win by doing that. And that's something that, uh, it's really been ingrained in me. So even though I'm turning 50 tomorrow, I feel Actually, I have a lot of energy. I feel a lot more energy now than I did like 15 years ago, 30 years ago. Um, you know, just changing the diet a little bit, drinking a lot of water, uh, working out. Um, I have a lot more energy than, than I did, say, like 20 years ago. So I don't feel 50. I, this is not what I thought it would feel like. I mean, I feel great. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, it is 50. So it's, it's kind of crazy. So anyway, hopefully that helps you. Uh, just remember, if you're going through some something tough and, and everything else, just keep on going through it. And, and once you come out the other side, you're going to be stronger. And then you're going to look back and have you know, perspective and say, hey, you know what? I'm going through something up on this end here, but it wasn't as bad as that. You know? So hopefully that helps. Have a great day. If you've got any questions, comments about anything, uh, shoot me a text message at 423-262-9229. Or uh, shoot me a private message on Facebook or comment down below. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you soon.